Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this sampath you watching sampath samfx youtube channel and this is redmi note 9 pro max or redmi note 9 pro 9s or poco m2 pro custom rom reviews this is android 13 pixel experience rom you can see here it's a official pixel experience rom for redmi note 9 pro max you can see here and i have been running before that let me show you the january 5th 2023 is the latest security patch and kernel user is 4.14.290 lineage OS kernel has been used build date you can see here it's the latest one january 8th build date and i've been running the cp throttling test from last 10 minutes and 55 seconds and 9 milliseconds you can see the maximum is 191 and this is 100 threat test guys average is 181 and minimum is 158 million gips which is good and it's throttled to 91 percent of its max performance which is fine according to this app that's fine and this is how the typical home screen you get you get all the widgets here this is material u design which was introduced in android 12. from there it continued to be delivered the same 12.1 12.l and this android 13 little bit improvement has been given but you won't notice any you you won't notice any huge difference here as you can see and major difference a uh, visually you see only this one the quick settings panel now the power button has been moved downwards and the settings panel is also the toggle also moved downwards i don't know if anyone using pixel devices let me know guys there is there should be any auto brightness toggle here or not let me know in the comment section i don't know but it should be there here then it will be easy in my opinion and all the other toggles are working fine as you can see mic axis camera axis all things are working fine if you want to add some other options you can drag here from and add it to your quick settings panel is smooth no lag whatsoever and also it will show you how much time it will last the battery you can see here when you scroll down the notification toggle and this how the home screen as i said and if you press and hold here you get wallpaper style and here one more changes basic colors these are the only visual changes you see in this particular room as you can see the combination of colors and basic colors these are implemented in this android 13 based custom rom and this is a pixel experience you get all the pixel live wallpapers and this kind of feathers this is the new one and if you want you can change them and themed icons still in beta it resembles like this i want to show you guys as you can see it looks like this if you want you can enable that and app grid you get up to 5 into 5 this how the clean and clean ui for redmi note 9 pro max now showing some of the benchmark results also you can judge how much time it is taking to open the android benchmark as you can see i haven't run the score maybe okay i will run the score later part of the video but geekbench scores you can see here as you can see the single score is 557 and multi score is 1527 and the kernel user is Linux 4.14.290 lineage OS kernel has been used this is how the uh, process here and like uh, moving into some of the other settings like safety and its status it will get passed obviously you can use all the payment applications like go, uh, google pay phone pay everything going to be work fine that's not the problem here even whatsapp is also working fine and this recorder option is a handy one which is present in pixel devices uh, with android 13 has been improved a lot that one and i have like 100 mps fiber connection here if you have anything uh, mobile internet connection it will also works fine carrier aggregation support is also working fine in this room no problem regarding that and dialer you get this kind of dialer here as you can see and direct video call feature is also available and call recording feature is also available no problem regarding that and camera is also gcam port this one has been pre-installed here if i go into more settings and uh, the gestures about the app this camera is pre-installed if want you can use any other gcam port by holding it and uh, go into information and you can disable and install the other gcam ports you need to use and anx camera support hasn't included here with magics it's possible but as of now the android 13 roms are very limited hence i will recommend to wait for nx camera built-in uh, roms you need to see that in upcoming builds as of now it's not available with pixel experience at least and in the settings this is how the simple it is as you can see 
during the flashing method i used the uh, note 9 pro max uh, firmware if you're having poco m2 pro or note 9 pro or some other devices you need to flash the particular firmware guys that's how it is and moving into some other settings i want to show yeah google photos you get unlimited storage option here that's fine let me download this one drm information because people will have doubt regarding that obviously it will have level one certification but some of the roms may not be having that as you can say level one certification you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution that's fine and smoothness in the UA is fine and recent apps you can see here you can select the text from here as you can see and even you can take the screenshot and clear all from here and that's how guys this is very simple and clean UA for Rode 9 Pro Max and you can see here the battery the battery usage hasn't recorded the idle battery drain is very very low on this particular ROM you may get around 10 hours of screen time with uh, minimal usage i am speaking if you play continuously bgmy like games it might give you 5 hours 20 minutes like that battery life i tested it and in the system you get this gestures it's very simple you won't get any options like increasing pill length or radius those things are not available here you need to use pixel experience plus roms or some of the other like evolution like the AOSP ROMs you can use and accessibility menu which is a handy feature I keep on telling this for every smartphone just without actually using the physical buttons you can toggle the volume and even brightness without uh, using that notification toggle you can use those brightness and recent apps and some of the handy features even you can take the screenshot this is a very useful feature with Android 13 it made even easy with gestures it's easy that's how it is and some of the options like switch axis those things have been improved here select to speak and color and motion here you can remove the animations in order to make it faster those things are still available and color inversion this all the accessibility menu you need to definitely use it the accessibility settings at least and this sound amplifier you can amplify it audio adjustment we don't have any dual stereo speakers if it was there we can adjust the left and right but it's a single speaker i don't think we need to change here anything that's how it is and moving into security features we get face unlock and fingerprint unlock let me show you those things and you can see fingerprint unlock and that wobbling effect let me go into home screen you can see that wobbling effect as you can see and face unlock is also very very quick in my opinion to unlock just see the smartphone and it will get unlocked these are fast enough to unlock a smartphone that's fine in my opinion the android 12 versions have similar speeds that's better in android 13 also nothing changed here and privacy you get all these settings and ads we don't have it if you want you can disable some of the options like camera access and microphone access here you need not to have that then you can disable that and moving into wallpapers i already explained this and sound and vibration here haptic feedback level let's check out no you don't get haptic feedback level intensity it's not available but you can directly enable or disable some of the haptic vibration and haptic vibration is fine in this room it's working fine better than miui yeah that's how it is and uh, moving into display settings it's a normal 60 hertz refresh rate only and we get this kind of options again it will revert back to accessibility settings here and uh, nightlight features you can schedule it out also there is an intensity option which is working fine and auto rotate screen tap to wake is given colors only three options nothing new here and dark theme it will not be in a pitch black condition because the wallpaper is in black now it looks like at least pitch black condition it is a themed dark theme here if you want a pitch black condition you need to use any other custom roms and you can see here i will disable that that's how it is and uh, and regarding battery i already spoke on you and i want to show you this charging animation and will it support 33 watt charging or not let's check out guys and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like it will show you after a certain time it will show you charging rapidly as you can see it is showing charging rapidly hence the fast charging support is available in this rom you can definitely have it as a daily driver this is a very good capable rom 
gaming yeah you can do casual gaming also i haven't tested it but most of the people don't opt this rom for gaming that's how it is and ram management is also fine here nothing problem as you can see it's reloaded of course it's a very long app but overall it's fine i have 6 gb variant here 64 gb variant if you have 8 gb one you will might get a little bit better ram management other than that nothing change here and toggles are also working fine if you want clean and green simple aosp type of android 13 rom then you can go ahead and flash this particular rom it's very simple guys very clean no customization nothing here but if you want stable then you can try this rom uh, if you want any customization there are a lot more roms coming in my channel already they have released but in my channel i will be updating those things uh, so subscribe to my channel and let's run this antidote benchmark and wind up this video if you have any specific questions regarding this rom comment down in the comment section i will be answering out within 24 hours of this video is live as you can see it scored 3,52,730 and temperature raises 2.1 degrees celsius and yeah two percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this entire android benchmark result testing on this redmi note 9 pro max with pixel experience under 13 rom and also you get split screen options here if i want to show that and let's press this settings okay tap here and you get split top and use this split bottom this how it is it looks similar to and all just the curves are a little bit changed here and one handed mode is also going to work fine here that's not the problem this how the video guys if you want to use it as a deleter go ahead and flash this rom you get a better pixel experience here with moderate to better battery life and for gaming you need to use some other Roms and let's meet with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now.